Welcome to this new video, which is very special to me. I'm going to show you a tutorial to quickly get started with my Blender extension, M2V. Alright, let's go, let's get started. So the first thing to do is to get the M2V extension in order to integrate it into Blender. To do that, go to the website extension.blender.org. In the search bar, select the extension named M2V or MIDI. For now, there's only one dealing with this topic, mine. Click on the module you found. Click on Get Add-on. Then drag and drop it directly into Blender. Click to activate it. And now you can see a new module in this section. The M2V extension is quite simple and clean. You select a MIDI file, you can find a few that I've linked in the description below this video. Next, you need to define what kind of representation or animation you want to generate. And also choose the variation or style of this visualization. Here, it's the blue to red light mode. You have the option to filter the desired MIDI tracks. Here, I'm going to leave it as asterisk, which means all tracks will be used. The Generate Animation button will then do the job and create the requested animation. I'm going to adjust a few settings in Blender to improve what we see on screen. I'm adjusting the timeline to cover the duration of the generated animation. We can see that, based on the length of the track and the number of frames per second, it results in several thousand frames. As we move through the timeline, we notice that cubes light up and turn off. In addition to generating the animation, M2V tries to open an MP3 file with the same name as the MIDI file. If it finds it, it places it in the video editing window. The idea, of course, is to have an animation synchronized with the music. Let's take a look at the result. Depending on your setup, you may be able to preview it in real time. Here, we can see that we're able to display it synchronized with the sound at 30 frames per second. Let's push it up to 60 frames per second, the maximum for real-time preview in Blender. The number of frames has doubled, and we can see this by extending the timeline at the bottom to show everything. The bar graph animation remains smooth in real time. However, this won't always be the case, depending on the animation type, mode, or the number of tracks you choose. Let's take a look at the other two modes, but first, let's explain the blue to red light mode. This mode shows the intensity, or velocity, of each note played. It starts from blue when the note is played softly and transitions to red when the note is played loudly. Next, the multi-light mode specifies that there will be one note color per track. However, just like in the previous mode, the higher the note's velocity, a data point from the MIDI file, the greater the light intensity will be. And finally, there's the Z-scale mode, where the velocity of the notes is represented by bars of varying heights. This is actually what gives the bar graph visualization its name. That concludes this quick start tutorial. You can find a link to examples of MIDI and MP3 files that are free to use. I look forward to seeing your own creations, as there's a lot of potential to create beautiful animations starting from the base that M2V provides.